now for part de as in hot shots if you remember that charlie sheen classic before he was well not before he was winning back then too and his video game is antics yes classical music culture sucks detach that and create a new culture unto thy own and what do we end up with so that is a question that is at the pinnacle the crux of the glitch piano works and what i'm doing i had nightmares i am not as often as dreams but i do have nightmares and so glitch piano it started out ambient it was originally going to be appetizers too however because of these nightmares i am subtitling it officially and unofficially at the same time being a sort of heisenbergian heisenbergian thought experiment is really called the nightmare journal so within this nightmare this relates to what i said in part one of classical music sucks is that there are this is this long conveyor line very henry ford ish very factory industrial all these piano players the same same the same okay some of you may joke are they asian <laughs> Well, that is that there's a great truth to that stereotype. It was a joke when I was growing up. Oh, if you boy, if you're a Chinese boy, you're gonna play piano. If you're a Chinese girl, you'll play a chow. I do a horrible Chinese accent. My own speech is peppered with Canadian slash East Indian slash Scottish overtones. So undertones as well. Draw your own conclusions. Anyway, they're the puppet masters above this their abominations. And in hindsight, I might even describe them as Lovecraftian abominations. And they have the strings that are hooked into each, even the, if you have seen Nightmare on Elm Street, the one where Freddy rips out, is it the, the tendons and kills someone that way? I don't remember all the details of that scene, but that was a very vivid one, which did make me think about stuff like this. So these classical pianists are forced to perform play the piano all the same way i know there's much deal made about interpretation really it's not as huge a degree as some people would make it out to be <laughs> compared to what you can do nowadays with a synthesizer and so many more varieties of sound it just does not compare it is what it is back then impressive nowadays in a gross spectrum of possibilities no no not not whatsoever so they are forced to. And this is a reflection of my own youth, of course, being greatly pressured to practice sometimes seven or eight hours a day, a marathon. And I could tremendously relate to Romanian gymnasts and such. I read these horror stories of them being, it was torture physically, emotionally, psychologically. They cannot go out to see their friends. My childhood consisted of some of that too. Stunted me emotionally, left me warped, as you can tell, isn't it? <laughs> Obvious, but I have been in it fused, fused with my Asperger syndrome. I am autistic. I am on the, on the autistic spectrum. It's very, very obvious from some things, not so much from others, perhaps. I, in some ways, maybe am labeled as high functioning, yet I get very distracted. And it is, it is very, very fascinating because once I can zone into something, then I will acutely have my attention like a laser beam focused right there but if i am not sufficiently if my gravity of interest pulls me away then i cannot focus whatsoever and some will chalk that up to attention hyperactivity deficit disorder or some other clinical term which i don't have i have been examined by a professional but <sighs> The fact is, I should try some Adderall soon and see what that does for me. Just in case, because there's that new movie with the Bradley Cooper and the Robert De Niro about, it's called Limitless, right, with the NZT. And I love fiction. I love science fiction like that. And science fiction is a huge part of why Glitch Piano is, for me, so, so comforting despite the nightmare elements. There are tracks which are very dark, ambient, dissonant, couple with playful moments that are a little creepy and sinister we have that built together and so in the course of doing this seeing these pianists really herk and jerk it reminded me of a sick and perverted Cirque du Soleil gone wrong production 
And I would love if to ever see that in some sort of claymation. I, I like the old, was it the tool videos? Parabola was one of them, perhaps. And they were, they had the bizarre figures like that. It's just really unsettling to see stop motion that way. Something just slips into the uncanny valley and is struggling to get out. Doesn't quite do that. And so that was a big part of it for me, doing glitch piano. These creatures, as I visualize, coming from another realm, another universe, coming because they have sent signals to us here, not us as in present day, but imagine, imagine a parallel Europe-Asia combo, and it's sort of an amalgamation, amalgamation, what a tough word, of renaissance and medieval themes. Some things are going to be very different, some things very similar to what we know from our real world history. And these creatures have sent a signal to one of the sides of this war that we're going to help you win this war if you, and, and some of this, the story is on yes.torley.com. If you search for glitch piano as one word tag, hopefully it doesn't, gl Tumblr search has been glitchy in itself and buggy, but these creatures, they sent a signal through and they are these musical, including piano-based creatures. And so when they break open, like The Thing, from John Carpenter, which of course draws its inspiration from a Lovecraft mythos as well, they can transform, they can change shape. They, they enslave humans though. They are, they are disgusting and vile in their approach and their disregard for life. They have no meaning. It is like a superior civilization that cannot relate and does not care about anything we are doing. We are walking bags of meat and assorted components to them, and they will gladly disassemble those components and reinvent them in, in grotesque ways, such as torturing a concert pianist and plucking off his arms and legs and reattaching like that Mr. McKegg joke from The Simpsons, if you're familiar with that. And so that is what they do. They, they originally come over here as, as weapons. Sonic weaponry is a big concern of mine, like the KOF brown notes, low intense frequencies, things like that, which will, big bass, which you'll hear too for being ambient. It's subtle, it creeps up in you. But then you notice you're laying back and there's a zzz, which is exactly what happened when I was sleeping. And so that is that is that is very very prominent theme, and that's how the storyline has been developing. They came from Antarctica, they fought with the polar bears, they ate the polar bears, then they spit them out. They didn't care. They just decomponentized them as well, which is one of my favorite words, decomponentize. <laughs> and then they made their way to this alternate Europe, Asia. This, and then they have begun like War of the Worlds, enslaving humanity. And so it's from, from these sounds, these wretched sounds that I've thought about, how many ways can you warp a piano sound? It could be plucked, it can be bowed. I have found some impressive sample libraries to add to my arsenal. You can glitch by stuttering, chopping, editing, just even flipping it, reversing it backwards, granular synthesis, adding whole effects chains, randomizing entire processes, a hundred takes, picking out the best snippets, reassembling them into one amazing sound collage. So, that is all coming, coming for 